May someone go into the attic because of you, because of you. The Bible said, and the king at the answers rose up and said, what has been done for the man who saved my life? And the Bible said, he has been forgotten. But the choir was forgotten. All of a sudden, one day, one day, one day, he sat and rode on the king's Finders, darkest, right now, lift your voice. We are in prayer. Pray. Ipata kapaya sendeleke, ipatu na makadia atele kapana. In the name of Jesus, this morning we lift up our voice and we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are saying this month, this week, O oh God, may Jehovah remember us, O oh God. May God remember our businesses, O oh God. May God remember our finances. We lift up our voice in the name of Jesus and we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are saying, O oh God, remember us, O oh God. God, remember our father, remember our mother this week, oh God, remember them, oh God, anybody that will show them kindness, we are praying that God, remember them in the name of Jesus, we lift up our voice and we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, we are saying this morning, remember the church, remember our members in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, any area of our life uh, that we lack. Uh, but this morning, uh, on the altar of our Father, uh, we lift up our voice uh, and we are saying, uh, God, uh, remember us one more time. Uh, remember us this week. Uh, remember us this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we pray for remembers. Uh, we pray uh, wherever they are, any destiny helper. Uh, that will help us uh, that they forget uh, but this week uh, this morning uh, we are the altar of our father uh, and we are saying god uh, remember us uh, in the name of jesus uh. remember us oh lord uh, in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, somebody pray right now and say lord god uh, remember me in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, and 14 years above come on now lift up your voice and pray and god uh, remember the jacob uh, and today you are saying god uh, remember me through my prayers uh, remember me oh lord god uh, through my sacrifice in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, and no one sacrifice unto the lord uh, and god remember him uh, and today you are saying god uh, remember me uh, by fire by thunder god shall remember you uh, in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, and god remember jacob uh, today you are saying god uh, remember me in my area in my finances, uh, you are remembering me. Uh, I will receive my miracle today. That is what your prayer is right now. Uh, lift up your voice and pray. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, God shall remember you. Uh, and God remembered Hannah. And today by your prayers, uh, God shall remember you. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, and God remember Sarah. And today you are saying, God, uh, remember me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, God remembered uh, and give a son uh, to Abraham and today you are saying God remember me remember, me. remember, me. remember, remember me. me remember me remember me remember my house remember my house remember my business remember my family remember my remember my promotion remember us remember us in the name of Jesus this morning I prophesy over your life that the Lord will remember you he said then God, not, not then man. He said then God. For Bible says that God is not a son of man that he should lie. Neither is he, for, sorry, for God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. In other words, when man remembers you, they can still hold back. They can still not be coming. Yes. But when God remember you, yes. I hear I say, when yes. God remember you, yes. you will not be forgotten. Yes. They will come immediately. Yes. This morning, may the Lord remember you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If you just join us, we are praying from Genesis chapter 30, verse 22. We are moving to verse 25. And we say, Lord, remember us. Remember us. Verse 25. 
And it came to pass. Hey. And it came to pass. This morning, may it come to pass for you. Amen. Oh, I said the, the request and the reason why you came here this morning. Jesus. May it come to pass for you. In the name of Jesus. And it came to pass. When Rahel had born Joseph, that Jacob said to Laban, send me away that I may go to my own place, to my country. And it came to pass that when Rahel had born Joseph, that Jacob said to Laban, send me away that I may go to my own place. See, around this time, Jacob has been working the, the word we use, the word here that I want to use, the junky way, a, a work. He's been doing all the junky works for his father-in-law, Laban. And in 20 years of service, his wages was changed 10 times, not for appreciation, but all the 10 times, he has to receive a salary cut. 10 times for 20 years. For 20 years, he had nothing except for the two wives and the children he was born in. And around this time for Rahel, her sister was just producing, producing. And Rahel, even though was loved by Jacob, could not have a son or even a daughter. And she became a laughing stock. She became, she was reproached. She was walking in disgrace and shame. But one day when the Lord remembered her, Jesus. Bible said that, and God gave her her Joseph. Yes. This morning, your Joseph is coming. I receive it. I said, it. your Joseph is coming. I receive it. Apostle General said, Joseph means increase. Joseph means abundance. Yes. Joseph means promotion. Yes. Joseph mean, means, means um, 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 addition. The, the Hebrew rendition for Joseph is Yosef, which means to add, to add. This morning, the Lord is about to add to your business one yes. more business. Hey, you rejected the prophecy. I said the Lord is about to add to your business one more business. The Lord is about to add to your cars. The Lord it. is about to add to your finances. In the name it. of Jesus. Yes. So, I realized that all the sons that he had, he was not still having expansion. But when Rahel had one, mm. Jacob said, this place cannot contain me anymore. Jesus. I have been staying in this single room for far long. I have been in this chamber and hall for far long. Now I have three kids. I have four kids. And my wife, we cannot go there. My businesses are coming up. We cannot go here. Send me away that I will have my own. Yes. That I will have a property of my own. Jesus. That I will have a business of my own. Yes. Somebody, you have been working for someone for far long. Yes. It is time for you to have your own. Yes. I say you have been driving people's cars for far long. Yes. It is time for you to own your own. Yes. To this morning, our prize, the Lord, Give me that miracle, one miracle that Amen. will advance my life. In the name of All of Jesus. a sudden, there was increase, and you needed to advance, you needed to move on, right hand lifted. Say, My father, my father, my father, my this father, morning, this morning, by my prayer, by my prayer I, make I make a declaration that you will give me will give that, one that one more Joseph, that one more miracle, that one more, miracle. That one more breakthrough. That one more that one more testimony that, that will advance my life that will increase my life that will promote me that will lift me from the level where I am to my next level oh God one more one more one more one more miracle one more breakthrough give me my Joseph give me my increase give me my promotion Give me, give me my abundance. My abundance. Give, me give me my expansion, my expansion. right now. Right Lift now. your voice. Clap your hands. Pray a prayer. Pray a prayer. Your Joseph is coming. Your Joseph, your increase, your abundance, your expansion, your promotion, your advancement is coming. It's coming. Lift your voice. We are in prayer right now. Go ahead. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. I panda go santa. I pay la masunda kaba. I vende ramasunda kapelienta. Go ahead, go ahead. Lift up your voice in the season of advancement. We are declaring, oh God, this morning, may we advance.
advance uh, in our ministries. Uh, may we advance uh, in our finances. Uh, may our children uh, advance uh, in their education. Uh, we are declaring uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, anything uh, that will stop us uh, from advancing. Uh, Jacob said, Jacob said, I need to advance. I need to go to my own to my own place, to my, own my, place own house, my own house, my own four bedroom, my own, bedroom, my own mansion, my own, mansion, my own car, my own, car, my own, business. My own business. Send me away. Send me enough, away. Is enough. Enough, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Is enough. This morning, yes, you need to advance. You need, to you need advance. advancement you need in, every in every facet of your life that you have been held. Stand still. This morning, break camp and advance. Break camp and advance in your life. In your, in your business, in your family, in your, family, in your marriage, in your, marriage, in your business, in your, business, in your finance, in your academics, right now, right now you, need you need to move on to your own place, to your own place, to your own, place, to your own inheritance, to your own inheritance in, the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Be panda go shanta. I pay la masunde kaba. Go ahead, go ahead. Pray. Lift up your voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. Etina makosamba runda makosaya ile makunda makosaita. Etina makunde makosaya. Lift up your voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord is about to give you the one miracle that you are looking for. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will advance. In the name of Jesus, you will multiply. In the name of the Lord. Jesus, divine advancement is coming to you right now by fire, right now by prayer. Can you arise in prayer in the name of Jesus? The Bible said, Shall a nation be made in one day, and shall a nation be made at once? But as soon as Zion travel, say, Bro, for the miracle that you are looking for is about to come to you, it is coming to you. Lift your voice. Can you speak to the Father? Can you talk to the Father? The Father is about to give you the one miracle that will blow the mind of your enemy. Lift your voice and pray right now. The Bible said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Athena Mekosula, Ibeliga the Hosaya, Athena Mekosaya, we declare by prayer, we declare by fire, let the miracle, let it be released. We declare open heaven. In Takosaya, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible said, and we also shall declare Athena, and it shall be established this morning. You go, we declare, let the miracle, let it be released, let it be released, let the contract, let it be released, let the open door. Let it be open in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can't stand the idol. It is time to travel in prayer. The weapon of your warfare. They are not kind. They are mighty. Lift your voice and pray now. Don't pray in the flesh. The flesh will not profit you anything. It is only the spirit that quicker. Lift your voice when declare this morning uh, by the power uh, of the Holy Ghost, uh, let the miracle, uh, let the miracle, uh, lift your voice, uh, pray. Kampala Masaya, Mateke Medu Subrataka, Elaiku Keleme Mokopea. Don't be silent, don't be silent. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the answer. Prayer is the solution. Lift up your voice. He said, Ask, and you shall receive sick, and you shall find dog, and you shall be open. I don't know what you are asking for, but we are saying this money, oh God. That miracle, that one miracle, that would change my environment, that would change my business, that would change the life of my children. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. Enough of the failure, enough of the rejection. Lift up your voice here. In the name of Jesus, we are saying, Oh Lord, 
give me that one breakthrough uh, that will change my business, uh, that breakthrough, uh, that will change my health, uh, that breakthrough, uh, that will change my cadavers. Uh, and, uh, and it came to pass. Hey. And it came to pass. Come on. And it came to pass. Hey. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When Rahel had, had born had Joseph, that Jacob said to Levi, send me away that I may go to my own place, to my own place, to my own place. This morning, the Lord is sucking you out from that rented place to your own place. The Lord is sucking you out to your own business. The Lord is sucking you out to your own advancement right now. The Lord, the Lord brought it to pass. The Lord brought to pass, brought to pass, brought to pass. This morning, it's a bring to pass in your life. Clap your hands. And say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. The verse 23, Bible says that the verse 23, Bible said that, and Rahel said, Now the Lord has taken away my reproach. Jesus. Another word for reproach is humiliation, another word is shame. Another word is disgrace. What it means is that around this time, she has been walking in shame and disgrace for becoming the second wife to your own sister. And you cannot also bear a child. And Bible said that she was a laughing stock. Everybody was teasing her. Everybody was pointing hands at her. The newspapers were publishing. And she's in the center of discussion, radio, TV, everybody. But one day, the Lord remembered her and gave her one miracle. And she was far advanced. All of a sudden, just one breakthrough. His, his husband could not contain the place where he abode any longer. And he moved on and he checked out. And 20 years of servitude, 20 years of, of hard labor, 20 years of working and getting nothing came to an abrupt end this morning by your one miracle, by your one Joseph, by one advancement. The Lord will put you ahead of your enemies. Clap yes, I say, I receive. I, I said by one breakthrough, the Lord will put you ahead, far and fast, far and fast, promotion, expansion, increase, abundance is coming in your way. This morning, that will be your story, that will be your story, that will be your testimony. You will testify by the power of the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. Hallelujah. Please, you can do better than this. Put your hands together for Jesus. I want you to know this morning that God is bigger than what you are going through. It's bigger than your problem. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 says that the name of Jesus at the mention of the name Jesus every knee shall surely bow hallelujah I don't know what you are going through but this morning just lift up your hands and say Jesus oh come on somebody shout Jesus oh come on somebody shout Jesus The kind of life that we are living these days, you need to mention the name Jesus as often because that is the only name that can save us. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift up holy hands and begin to bless his name. Begin to bless his name. Begin to bless his name. Give him glory. Somebody give him worship. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him worship. Thank you, Jesus. Yet you are here. Bravo. My dream, Papa. My dream, Papa. Oh, you know, yet you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebra, oh. Martin, Papa. Martin, Papa. Why 
fé me fosse Enibiente Wamadipa Achiembiom Come on, do we have believers in this house? Yeti waye Oyine Martin Papa Martin Missy watch her me fun soon Now me me anti Wama dipa adipa achi yemyo Anopeya maya sasu Yet Come on, lift up your voice, Marge. Marge. Are you there? Are you there? Yet you are. Marge. 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 Papa, in case she call a fam in joy, I devo fam in comfortable. What in your money, Wale? Why you no come on, Kebalo? Blame my Tessa, me a while. Jalen Fang, I eat all. Oh, Betty, yeah, what's about? Moko Moko Bani Tamabo, yes. In case she fall off and enjoy, I don't offer me comfortable. But you know, money will lay. Why you know, come on, come on, Jesus. Blame my Tessa, me a what? Tell them, friend, I eat you. Oh, Betty, yeah, what's about? Moko Moko Bani Tamabo. Moko Moko Bani Tamabo. Moko Moko Bani when she she who? Jesus. Moko Moko Bani she when she she. Now more cry or cut or come on, lift up your voice. But Jean, you know. Come on, oh, 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 somebody lift up your voice. Moko Moko Bani Tamabo, Moko Moko Bangwe, Jesus, Jesus. We give you glory. But in your mind, you Moko Moko Bani Wabonga Ogbeji Thank you Jesus Come on lift up your voice and begin to worship Just worship Just give him glory Just give him glory Just give him glory Ampara O Jesus Ruecha O Ampara O Biara Jesus O 
Enunti. Come on, lift up your hands. Yebesu. Oh, Parase.
priest and king that's who you are my lord my light you are my way my end accept my worship today Jesus, my shepherd, brother, friend, my prophet, priest and king, my.
Come on, whatever you are holding, you want to wave it? Wave your hanky, wave your mantle. You want to scream loud and give God the praise he deserves? Put aside your worries. Put aside your predicament. Put aside your trials. And give God glory. Somebody give God glory. Let me hear you shout glory.
Give the Lord a praise. Oh, come on. I want to see excitement in the house. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the oil dome for Sunday morning service. Let me see the gladness. Let me see your celebration. Let me see your excitement. Let me see your mantles. Let me hear your voices. Let me see you jumping. Let me see you running. Come and give the Lord praise, celebration, excitement, joy. Let there be an outburst of celebration. Let there be a baptism of celebration. Come and give the Lord praise. Oh my God. I wanted to find seven people who are not smiling and tell them that this is your therapy this is your therapy you have come to the oil dome for therapy may your spirit be ignited oh look for somebody who is not excited somebody who is not looking forward to a new week tell them that good news is around the corner be happy in advance for what God is about to do God has gone ahead of you in the week there is a miracle waiting for you. There is celebration waiting for you. There is good news around the corner. I prophesy to only 205 people. If I were you, I would jump and say, I receive it. Oh my God, my God, my God. We have a wonderful service for you this morning. I promise and I assure you that you will never regret for coming and joining us this morning. If you are watching us online, on radio, on TV, you are not here by mistake. God ordained you for you to be here and will be ushering you into the presence of God very shortly. Wherever you are, just begin to lift up your voice and just thank God for another Sunday. Thank God for another week. Thank God that he has kept you throughout the week from Monday to Sunday. You have traveled in and out of your home and God has preserved you and your family. Come on. Thank God that you didn't visit the hospital. Thank God that you didn't get evicted from your house. Thank God that you are preserved in the blood. Thank God that you and your family are protected. Come on, wherever you are, in your own words, in whatever language you can speak, in English, in Chi, in Ga, in Ewe, give God all praise, all adoration. Lord, we love you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we are thankful. What will we have done without you? Without you, we could have been in the gutters. Lord, we accept our praise, accept our worship. We thank you, O oh God. When we look on our left and on our right, there is disaster, there is calamity, there is bad news, there, there is war all around us. But we and our families, we are protected and we are preserved and we are covered and we are waxing stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and Lord you are fulfilling your word you said those that know they are God they will work stronger and they will do exploits Lord we thank you for fulfilling your word yes. in our lives and in our church and in our families Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus head on thy church triumphant come on lift your hands we, we joyfully joy adore thee you know this one till the
Tu as cessé. We live. Anticipation. This is your cue to lift up your voice and say, and cry aloud and give to God the praise of our salvation. And cry aloud. Of thy church, come on, head of thy church, head of thy church. Come on, this is your prayer this morning with a joyful heart, with a joyful tongue. We give you praise, we give you celebration. Beautiful voices. The angels are joining your voice to celebrate the King. we tend to forget all the goodness that you keep bestowing upon us 
by normal human nature, we, we get so busy with the hustle and bustle of life and the pressures of life that our focus is shifted away from you. Our focus is shifted away from heaven. Our focus is shifted away from Jesus. But Lord, whenever we come to the point where we have forgotten what you are doing for us, we forget the preservation. We forget the provision. We forget all the testimonies. Lord, let there be a remembrance in our hearts that you are still king. You are still Lord. You are still on your throne. Therefore, this morning, as a church, as a family, we enthrone you as king. We enthrone you as Lord. Lord, we worship your providence. We worship your supremacy because we have come to the conclusion that nobody will ever get close. Nobody will ever get close. Father, just by our human weaknesses, we, we tend to shift away from the presence. And Lord, we are asking for mercy. But in the midst of the prayer for mercy, we are praying that you shall pull us back to your presence. May our hearts continually cry out of your goodness and your glory. May our hearts continually sing of your praise and your adoration. And Lord, when we don't have enough words to give you praise and to sing of all the things you have done for us Lord look within our hearts because our hearts have all the words that we can offer unto you search within our hearts and accept your worship accept your praise accept your adoration no man will share your glory no human being will take away from your glory Dwell in our service this morning. Let the altar be potent as always. Let there be a word that will transform the lives of many. Whoever is watching us from America, from in, in the regions of Ghana, from across Africa, Lord, may the anointing not be limited by geography. But Lord, let there be a trans trans a, a tra 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 transfer of the glory and the power that we experience in this oil dome. May we hear testimonies from across the nations, across the cities, across the globe. Our father and our mother are out and they are powering the vision. Lord, give them strength. Preserve them. Give them fresh oil to lead us and to continue this assignment that you have given to them. And Lord, for all the sons and daughters who are holding down the fort in their absence, Lord, keep us on track. May we not lose our providential way. When we are growing weak and weary and tired, Lord, send angels to come and replenish. Have your own way in this service. Accept our worship. Accept our worship. Accept our worship in Jesus' mighty name. The church will put their hands together. Oh, come on, Royal House Chapel, all your door. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Oh, come on, your shout cannot welcome online viewers. Give the Lord a shout. Amen. Please be seated wherever you are. You are welcome to Royal House Chapel, the headquarters where the pastor is the Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. In Royal House, we say we are touching our generation with the power of God. In 1991, the Apostle General received a message from God to bring people into God's presence through prayer, praise, and worship. To preach messages of hope 
that are relevant to the needs of people and to create an atmosphere of love, care, share, and fellowship. And for 30 plus years, we have been doing this to the glory of God. Today is our flagship Sunday morning service. You will be hearing two choirs, Latter Glory Choir and Covenant Voices. You will hear a story in between. And then the Lord has chosen one of the sons of the Apostle General to be a blessing to us this morning. He is the National Coordinator of Royal House Chapel Assemblies all over Ghana. We call him the Assembly Prefect. He was birthed in Royal House. He has been raised in Royal House through Rosa, becoming Prayer Secretary of Rosa University of Ghana, Prayer Secretary of WMG, uh, National Vice President of WMG. And today he is in charge of all the branches in Ghana and West Africa. He's a big man, a big man. His name is Reverend Daniel Maslino. If you are here for the first time, I want to let you know that God orchestrated for you to be here and there is a message in this service for you. Don't be in a hurry to leave. Don't get distracted. Don't look at your time. You are here for an encounter and I promise you by the time the service is over, you will leave here refreshed and renewed for the new week. God bless you. My name is Reverend Papa Krachi Ankara. We will have uh, a virtual announcement and then uh, Lata Glory Choir will be ministering. Enjoy your service. Hi, praise the Lord, people of God. Hi, I miss the oil dome already. Yeah. But I can feel the presence and the power of God. Last week, we watched the service and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Well, Mama Rita and I, we have just finished the Royal Ladies Camp 2024, the Europe version. Yeah. Oh, it was powerful. Awesome. Awesome. Presence, Incredible. word, revelation, mm -hmm. miracles signs and wonders and we have just finished our sunday service with the milton king's royal house chapel awesome and powerful reverend victor and reverend Monsieur pariado and their son uh reverend augustine nee of pariado they are doing marvelous work over here great work over here and uh, my soul blesses them and i bless them i'm not blessed and i bless them it's going to get better and better and better now hey thank you very much for your prayers Thank you very much. Your prayers are sustaining us. Your prayers are keeping us. The oil is, is greater than before. Amen. The grace is more than before. Amen. God is doing wonderful things with Mama Rita and I. Amen. We have just finished with Milton Keys. And we are continuing in New Jersey next week. Next week we are at New Jersey Royal House Chapel Covenant Center. Pray for Reverend Hazel and the leadership of the church. We are believing God for heaven on earth. We are believing God for presence. We are believing God for signs and wonders. We are bringing God for notable miracles. Mm -hmm. Please pray for us. And we are also praying for, for you. Keep the vision. Run with the vision. Power the vision. Serve the vision. Your life will never be the same. My God Amen. has never let me down. Amen. He will never let you down. Amen. Royal ladies, you know we have started our 30th anniversary mm -hmm. in grand style. Mm. The Deba was a hit. Mm. The Deba was butu, 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 mm. butu. I want to say a very big thank you to all the tribal, the tribe leaders. Mm. You did so well. Mm. Our next program is the prayer tour. Mm -hmm. 30 hours of, of prayer. prayer. 30 hours 30 of non hours non -stop Can prayer. you imagine? If we are praying 30 hours mm. into our 30th anniversary, mm. you should have seen the Europe version. It was something else. It was something else. 
I can't wait for the one in Ghana. Hi. I can't wait for the one in, in the US. US. Please make a date with me. We are starting on the third and finishing at 6 p.m. on the 4th. Mm. My darling, it's going to be something else. Hallelujah. Be there. Don't leave yourself out. It's going to be powerful. Hallelujah. Enjoy today's service. Amen. My spirit is there. My soul Amen. is there. And I'm interceding for Amen. you. May the altar of your father speak Amen. as we hold on to the horn of the altar. Amen. Hey, vindication is coming very Amen. soon. Magnification is coming Amen. very soon. God will silence the enemies very soon. And I cannot wait for the prayer turn of the women. Yes. No. Heaven will come to a standstill. Amen. And hell will break loose Amen. with confusion and scattering. Amen. This is your season. God bless you. We love you. Pray for us as we pray for you. And we'll see you shortly.
Hallelujah. I believe we can better appreciate God for the ministry of the latter glory choir. Indeed, Jesus is a wonderful Lord and Savior. He has blessed us with the gift of life and the blessing of today. Please put your hands together and help me bless God for his grace, his goodness, and his mercies upon our lives this morning. And I want you to one more time put those hands together with a shout Help me acknowledge our online worshippers.
those who are worshiping with us, Facebook, YouTube, Powerline TV. Amen. You are all looking resplendently beautiful and bright this morning. God richly bless you for coming to church. This is the oil dome. This is the headquarters of Almighty Jehovah God. In Matthew chapter 17, we come across a certain story, an account of the disciples of Jesus who were faced with a challenge. They were in a serious battle. They had prayed, they had decreed, they, they had declared things, but yet still, the problem was not being solved. And the Bible said that as soon as Jesus came onto the scene, he made a command and the problem was solved. And in verse 17 of Matthew Chapter 7, verse 21 of Matthew chapter 17, he made a profound statement and said that this type or this kind can only be solved, can only be overcome through prayer and fasting. I pause and I look at the text again and I ask the question, is it possible that there are other kinds and other types of challenges that can be solved or overcome through other means? The Spirit of the Lord took me to 2 Samuel chapter 24 where we saw King David in a similar battle. There were problems, there were challenges, there was calamity, there was death, there was destruction in the land. He also prayed, he begged, he cried, he did all that he could, but still there was no abatement to the problem. And the Bible said that God gave him the revelation that he should give an offering for the problem to be solved. A few years ago, a young couple got married here in Royal House Chapel. After one year, the lady took seed. Right not long after, after a few weeks, after a few months, they lost the pregnancy through miscarriage. From then on, they tried and tried and tried and tried. Nothing was happening. They checked into the medical facilities. Various tests were conducted. Whatever, whatever was done. At the end of the day, the bill that was placed before them that they have to undergo a certain procedure and it's going to cost so many, many thousands of Ghana cities. They went back home, they checked their savings, they checked their accounts. If they put everything they had together at that time, they will not be able to foot that bill. Even if they projected their next six months salary together, joined together, they will not be able to foot that bill. And by the leading of the Spirit of God, that couple came to the altar. It was on a normal Sunday church service like this. They took a seed, they took an offering, went to the altar, invoked the God of the Apostle General. They invoked the God of the altar of Royal House Chapel. To cut a long story short, God came through for them and God answered their prayers by an offering, by a sacrifice that they placed upon the altar. Today, I want to challenge you. I don't know what battles, I don't know what challenges you are facing. I don't know what calamities are plaguing your life. Like that young couple, I want to encourage you. Pick a sacrifice, pick an offering. Jesus Christ said that this kind, this type, can only be solved through prayer and fasting. And I want you to let you know, by the examples that we have seen this morning, there are other kinds of means or ways that challenges and problems can be overcome. And this morning, I suggest to you, it is through giving a sacrifice, giving an offering unto the Lord. I know the story of that young couple too well, because it happened to me and my wife. It's a real life situation, a real life story. And today, to the glory of God, the rest is history. God has blessed us with three wonderful children. And if you like, you can add and still count it. Hallelujah. Amen. Like that young couple, reach into your bags and your pockets. Maybe the battle on your hand, the battle you are facing, you have prayed, you have cried, you have begged, you have decreed, you have declared, nothing is happening. Try giving an offering, try giving a sacrifice. Bring your sacrifice to the altar, connect to the altar, and you shall see the hand of God manifesting powerfully in your life. The hand of God is going to bring you deliverance, the hand of God is going to bring you a solution. Online worshippers, you are not left out. Connect to the altar through the various payment options running on your screen. The MTN Momo line is available. The tel Telecel payment cash option is there. Connect through Royal House Chapel direct bank transfers. UMB Bank, Republic Bank, and then the various short codes available to you. 
You may also visit the website of Royal House Chapel, click the donate button and follow the instructions there. And your life will be blessed and your life will never be the same. Please lift up that offering, lift up that sacrifice, lift up the access offering. Close your eyes, every head bowed, and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I do not know the battles, I do not know the challenges, I do not know the calamities and the problems plaguing your people. You who sit on your throne above, you know and you see all. By the example you have given us in 2 Samuel chapter 24, David offered a sacrifice and the plague and the problems and the challenges ceased. Behold, in our hands is our token. As we bring it to the altar of covenant, hear our cry, O God. Answer us. Come through for us. Let the plagues, let the challenges, let the calamities, let the battles come to an end. And let the peace of God that passeth on understanding envelop us and dwell upon us. And may your mighty name be exalted and glorified even in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you glory. We thank you for answered prayer in the name of Jesus. Every believer gathered will shout the big and the believing, Amen. With a shout, with excitement, help me welcome Covenant Voices to bring us the second song ministration. you away from poverty and failure I bring you to the originality of God's purpose every normal human being has a desire for God there is something that draws you to God which was why right from the word go God established that level of bonding and chemistry between him and Adam and Eve those of you who joke with church stop it because when we gather that is when God shows up to bring you back into the originality of his creative purpose in his image. Here's the difference between you and the other creations of God. Number one, man was created to have affinity for God. That's your number one responsibility. And the man that you see, a father, a mother, a classmate who hates God, that person is less human. If your father doesn't look like God, please sidestep him and look to those who look like God and be like them. With Jesus, your life is balanced. With Jesus, your life is complete. Jesus is Lord. Our next arise service is 27th April. Block the date. No party, no nowhere. All roads lead to a fear where it all started. Come on now, come on, come on. Today, I cut you away from poverty and failure. I bring you to the originality of God's purpose. Every normal human being has a desire for God. There is something that draws you to God. Which was why, right from the word go, God established that level of bonding and chemistry between him and Adam and Eve. Those of you who joke with church, stop it. Because when we gather, that is when God shows up to bring you back into the originality of his creative purpose in his image. Here's the difference between you and the other creations of God. Number one, man was created to have affinity for God. That's your number one responsibility. And the man that you see, a father, a mother, a classmate who hates God, that person is less human. If your father doesn't look like God, please sidestep him and look to those who look like God and be like them. With Jesus, your life is balanced. With Jesus, your life is complete. Jesus is Lord. Our next arise service is 27th April. Block the date. No party, no nowhere. All roads lead to a fear where it all started. Come on now, come on, come on.
Shanda, even the Ramasunde Kaba, Aluan Tabaye. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You have seen Kukathon, Singathon, Washathon, Sanathon, and all the thorns. But now you are about to see Prayathon, RL3D Prayathon. Join the Royal Ladies Ministries International for 30 hours intense prayers on Friday, 3rd May 2024 at 12 p.m. to Saturday, 4th May 2024 at 6 p.m. Mr. that day, we will take a jambeshi position, hold our waist, and pull down strongholds. The prayers, we will take it hot, hot, and by the shoe, a bathe, butu, 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 butu. My darling, guess what? On Saturday at 3 p.m., the woman came, the prayer bulldozer, the prayer avatar, Mama Rita will pick up her prayer arsenals and lead the women of the Royal Ladies Ministries International from Accra to Kaswa and Tema areas will be converging at the arena of warfare. It will be a prayer jamboland. It is not over until it is over. At one, at two, at three, it is RL3D prayer phone 30 hours of intense prayers on Friday, 3rd May 2024 at 12 p.m. to Saturday, 4th May 2024 at 6 p.m. Right hand lifted. See you there. Yo 
worship over here. Heal the name of the Lord. Rise up wherever you are and let's give God some worship. Come on, we heard you. We heard you, we heard you. We hail you. Say it one more time. We hail you. Fadi ki zalua bakashanda yas, unde ki vadi la kuzata lavaka. We have come not to gather unto a man, but Father, we have come into your sanctuary this morning. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Receive all your praise. Receive all the adoration. Receive all the thanks, O oh God. We come before the altar of our father the apostle general and we declare the father for your people that have gathered this morning in your sanctuary may your heavens be open upon them release your supernatural blessings to them may this week be a better week for them than last week i declare in the name of jesus that may the month of april even the year 2024 may it be a supernatural year for you May God order your step into greatness. May God usher your step into the supernatural providence way of the Lord. Lord, we declare, have your way and take all the praise and take all the worship. In the name of Jesus, we have declared. And the people that believe will put their hands together. Come on, appreciate God. Put your hands together all over this place. Celebrate the God of our Father. Celebrate the God of Royal House Chapel. Celebrate our Father's altar, our Father's God. I am waiting for one more present. Come on, put. Bosom, Cassian. Bosom, 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 Naya de Cassian. Now I can't wait to get a cup of water. Walk to somebody and tell the person, may you experience the God of the Apostle General this morning. Walk to another person and tell the person, may the covenant of our Father speak for you and I. May go to the third person. Go to the third person. Oh, tell God, the person, God, may the open heavens that our Father has been praying for us work for you this week. Hey. Prophesy to somebody. May the God of miracle work a miracle for you. May God that is all knowing, the supernatural God. The God who knows tomorrow from today, yes. may that God work a miracle for you. Come We are in your 
providential way. We are resting in your providential presence. We are resting in the hand of Jehovah. We are resting in the supernatural presence. Be seated. Wusam. Erati. Wusam. First Samuel chapter number seventeen, the verse number thirty-three. First Samuel chapter number seventeen, verse thirty-three. Ah, and Saul said to David you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him for you are a youth and he a man of war I declare in the name of Jesus, Jesus. anybody that has looked down upon your limitations, Jesus. today may God surprise all of them. Amen. Anybody that has written you off yes. and they are saying you do not matter at all, Jesus. today on this altar, Come may on. God bring a surprise their way. I may it. God lift you from the backside yes. and put you at the front side. Yes, I Who am I prophesying to? I am the one. The, your family members that say nothing good can come out of you. Jesus. Today on this altar, may God bring a surprise their way. May God it. surprise your enemies. Yes. May God surprise your colleagues. Jesus. May God bring your way a miracle. Yes. May God bring your way a testimony. I it. am prophesying to only 15 people. I, I said, may God take you into the way of the Lord. I Shout, I receive my portion. I receive my portion. Somewhere, Huma, Edikai, do so to Chamadia, sir. So now I can say, or say David, O dia o nyo kufu, O ya branti ya, na dia o koni chano, O ya kukudru fu, O ya obi o ni unto kwako. I don't know nyami ni pe entra so I can say ne, Obi a wobu a benfi a biano, nyami ti o peja a kwa numo nyamu. Thirty five, thirty four, thirty four, verse thirty four. Work it. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamp out of the flock, 35. I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamp from the mouth of the lion and when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard, I struck it and I killed the bear and the lion. Whatever has killed your four parents, yes. whatever has killed your parents, Jesus. whatever killed other people, yes. may God cause you to survive it. Yes. I am missing some of you. Whatever has pursued others and they couldn't survive in your 2022, Jesus. 2023, Jesus. as for you, when it gets to your Ten. Come on. May you survive that thing. Yes. Son, I receive it. I receive Can it. I prophesy to you again? The lion and the bear came. The lion and the bear came. But whatever has fought. Keep the fire. Keep the fire. Keep the fire. Keep the fire. When the lion and the bird came to me, I pursued after them and I struck them and I killed them. Something has been pursuing you all of these years. Your project is standing still. It has been pursuing you. Your movement of academics has been pursuing you. But this morning, Jesus. I make a declaration on this altar. Whatever has pursued you, today may you overcome all of them. Whatever has stopped you, today may you overcome all of them. Pursue your enemy. Pursue the lion. Pursue the bear. Pursue the Philistine. Pursue Goliath. Pursue them. You shall overcome. You shall overcome. Who can you cry? 
Now so come, me send this one chair outside. I brought me the and you call a CCM no. Sammy called you what? Say CCM and ask the Boba. Me and Sammy son of Boji. I check and you the free moon. I don't think the Agbano met me at Jano. Give me the text. Give me the text. Give me 36. I'm going to 37, please. 36 and 37. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. <laughs> you love the revelation here. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. 37. 37. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, he will, he will, he will once again, he will for one more time deliver me from the hand of this, this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Can I prophesy to you? May the Lord be with you in the month of April 2024. May the Lord be with you when you are applying for the visa interview. May the Lord be with you when you are knocking on the door for scholarship to travel abroad. May God be with you on your wedding day. May God be with you when you are going to the surgical room for the operation. May God be with you every step of the way. When you go to work, may God be with you. When you come back home, may God be with you. When you write the application, may God be with you. Whatever you shall do, I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of this altar, may God be with you. Keep the fire. May God be with you. Yakupo and Kaho, a brat, David, a kind of just so said, Sabanisa, meet me good, sister, meet me good, Jata, Nadana, a year, a brat, your Goliath, meet me Kuno, on Ukraine, Sabi, your Chani Berma, Makuna, you never free, I say, and now he can't tell us, only Yakupo, now a tree, Musumi, I see Yakupo, I receive it. Turn to somebody and tell the person, Go, God be with you. Turn to another person and tell the person, Go, God be with you. Repeat it for the last time and tell the person that this week may God go with you. The, the message that I want to bring to you this morning is, t- is titled, Go, God be with you. We are talking about a battle that ensued between a giant called Goliath and then a 17 year old boy. This giant has been pursuing the people of Israel day and night and they were looking for somebody who can be able to stand against this Goliath. The Goliath When David showed up, he said, I can fight this guy. I know what it takes to fight this guy. And the people said, You are talking too much. Let us, let us take you to the king. Let the king assess you. When Saul saw David, he looked at him down and up. He said, ah, now we will for him far. Then David had to play back his CV in the past to the king. David, David, in making reference to his past CV, then David told King so that King live forever. But once, one, once upon a time, I went to take out my father's flock. Whilst I was doing that, the lion came to me. I pursued it, I struck it and I killed it. The bear also came to me, I struck it and I killed it. He gave a very vivid and graphical representation of what has happened in the past. When Saul listened to the young boy, then Saul said, "Mm, 
this boy is a different kind of boy. Then Saul concluded that, go, may my God be with you. David, and I go to know him, and I can ask him, or can't you know him, so he may go up to him. Now, may I bring me come from us, and Papa, I go a share the If I don't, so Nini Bami Kuno, Jataba Mikuno, or Siboba Mikuno, or he didn't know San Yamasino, nor say, go, Uniyam and go. When I check the definition for go, the God, God be with you, it has two Hebrew renditions, two of them. Number one, it means that may you begin to move forward to the next level or may you make progress to the next level that is the first definition in go god be with you the second definition in that same text means that may you move beyond limitations moving beyond limitations so two definitions number one move forward or mo make progress number two move beyond your current limitations so the underlining principle in this text now gives me what we call supernatural advancement Supernatural progress. Supernatural movement. Supernatural movement is when you are moving forward by beyond the human understanding or beyond natural means. Number one. Number two, supernatural movement is when you are moving beyond limitation by godly intervention, by divine intervention. You must be able to move forward with divine intervention. And I declare in the name of Jesus that this year, 2024, you are moving forward to your next level. You are moving forward to your next station. You are moving forward higher in life. You are moving forward. Take a step and say, I am moving forward. Take a step and say, I am moving forward. Make a step and say, I am moving to my next level. I am moving to my next level. My next level is in, in its emotion. I am in motion. May you move forward in the name of Jesus. May you move forward in your academics. May you move forward in your business. In your academics. In your business. In your finances. And at your workplace. At your promotion. This year 2024. Whatever you will do. At the interview. Shot, I am moving forward. Shot, I am moving forward. Shot, I am moving forward. By this altar of our Father, may you move forward to the next level. I say, Your children will move forward. Your children will go to the next level. You are moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. A supernatural advancement, supernatural movement, supernatural progress. You are making progress. You are making progress. You are advancing. You are advancing. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but I say you're moving to the next level. Son, I am moving. Son, I am moving. Say, my Father and my God, I declare moving, moving to the next level. It's my portion. I declare by this altar of our Father, I move forward. 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 In the name. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Walking in a moving, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Be fervent. There's an overflow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Abundance of faith. Professor, professor, it. it's a new level. It's a new level. It's, it's a new a season. New it's a new door. It's a new story. It's a new promotion. It's a new anointing. It's a new level. We're taking over. We're taking over. Taking over. Walking. Walking in a Are you sure you're moving? Are you 
Joshua, you are with us. I am moving with you. Our Father is moving with us. Walking, walking, walking. Walking. So, go and even know it's like a baby, and so a be a war. Oh, be a wussa, bro. No, I'll just run your mail, go here. Oh, be a wussa, but be a one to say, What shall I say? Uh, what to call crook rabbi? And you won't go anymore. Oh, go anymore. You don't want to offend your near master, sir. After one, I'll go for trotro. They say, Who bow, convoy now, neighbor, and no, you're Paja, Yakupa, who are the Aduko, and no, no, Sraman, I want you, and no, Sraman, sir. I feel where you obey a piano, Uba Paja, a Papu de Paja, and no Montasia. So, when you are moving under supernatural advancement, you become a record breaker and a record setter. Yeah. Ah. David, small boy. But when the guy moved under supernatural advancement, what has not been done before in Israel, the gentleman and the boy did it for the first time. May you be a record breaker. I May you break the record in your family. I May you set new records in your company. Amen. May you set new records at where you are working. I May you set new record in your abala kosha. I said you shall be a record breaker. I receive it. Saudi Gambia, who are in the name, who did you meet to me? The name, do you bring your bit down? I don't know. I don't know. What's the name? I'll say now. What you want to mom? Baby, I'll remember. Yeah, dear, or be any of it. The apostle general calls this one the law of progression. Apostle general, first idea is that I am right. You're the queen. The law of progression, according to our father, operates on two levels. Level one, the law of progression is repetitive. Repetitive. What God has done before, He does it again. The second level is that God will move you from one level, stage one, and move you to stage two. So if God has delivered you from accident attack, this year he will, year he will deliver you again. If God has given you a, a, a first car, this year God will give you another fleet of cars. If God has given you a first degree, this year, when you apply for your masters, he will give you a scholarship. Amen. I said he is the God of progressing. Yes. May God progress in your life. I receive it. May God do it again for you. I receive it. When, see, you shall see your next birthday and you shall celebrate your birthday again. I receive because it. the God that gave you last year's birthday, he will give you another birthday this year. Amen. <laughs> It is a run, not a wound, your concern, and Yamichi Ufrima, and now Obasanjo. Yamino Mauti, I would die a few terminal. So I would die, Obamosa, Antino, a few way, or Yamia, the Oyaro, Tan Tangina, or Sayer. He moves from one level to the other. Now, there were you a free trapper, Marco, as I work with a pebble floor. When you start in a rented house, chamber and house, self contained, you move to two bedroom, and then God would then move you to be a landlord owning your own house. I said, God moves from one level to the other. Whatever you started as a small business and you are begging customers, you are your own salesman, you are your own PA, you are your own whatever. God is growing the business. The business will begin to make some strides. Before you see, you are employing 60 people that are working under you. I said, the God that started from yesterday, he will move you to your level. He is the God of progressing. He is the God of moving forward. Go, the Lord be with you. Masom. Are you enjoying this prophecy? Hey. Trasako. Trasako. Chale, I'm working in the footsteps of my father. Roma. 
I want to share with you four ways by which you can now operate under this supernatural advancement. Number one, apply faith in God. Number one, apply faith in God. Number two, anticipate miracles. Anticipate miracles. Number three. Allow God's preparation process. Or allow God's process of preparation. Allow God to prepare you. And then number four. Acknowledge the presence of God. Acknowledge the presence of God. Apply faith. Apply faith. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that it is logically impossible for a 17 year old boy without any military training, without any military rudiment, to be able to stand head on to this giant who has military training right from birth right from his youth it is logically impossible i was so come on me no a pretty part training in tears here so so brand here when you fear to so for what you see so on yes you say yeah and turn us now for this area be other no new obia or your tinting cramo i was so i fit in in color bravo you know yeah turn us at the air contour car near man as well for entity yet a pretty part in tears here so and yeah dis is is a david recognized that the only way to do this is to depend upon God, is to apply his faith in God, is to apply his confidence in the word, is to, is to come to the place where he says that I will demonstrate my faith so long as I am operating under a supernatural advancement. When you come to church and you, are, you want to move under supernatural advancement, you are making progress in life, you must always demonstrate your faith by engaging the God of your father, the Apostle General. You must demonstrate your faith by engaging the altar of your father, the Apostle General. You must demonstrate your faith by calling upon the name of the God of Royal House Chapel. David, your coming to the altar is an application of your faith. Coming to church all the time to sit under the feet of our Father and to listen to the word of God is an application of your faith. I am not talking about just coming and dropping your sacrifice on the altar and that is all. I am talking about perpetually staying under the covering of this house. I know one of Apostle General's sons. <laughs> The, the, the young man, when he was growing up, we all saw him. The guy had to be raised by a single mother. The mother was not even available. He had to do menial jobs to be able to take care of himself. He's the only boy among um, several girls. He had to take, do menial jobs to take care of himself. He has to go and wash people's cars. He has to go and polish people's shoes. He has to go and polish people's shoes. He has to go and polish people's He was doing these things, He will never leave the altar of our father, the Apostle General. Every day he will come and connect. Every day he will come and show. Every day he will engage. 
He listens to Apostle General on podcasts, on YouTube, on Facebook, on social media, wherever. He was always staying under the covering of our Father. He was applying his faith by the engagement with the ministry of the man of God. This was so difficult to the point that even his school fees he couldn't pay. Royal House Chapel must give the guy scholarship from level one all the way to level 400 to finish his course. But today, as we are talking, the young man is now an employer of people working for him. Number one. Number two, the young man is also paying other people's school fees. Number three, the young man has bought cars, not one, not two, but he has fleet of cars. Number four, the young man now is able to travel out and in and in and out Ghana, Accra, Ghana, Dubai, Ghana, this, Ghana, that. Because the guy applied faith in the word. He demonstrated the faith and God has come through for him. May your faith in the altar of our father. May your faith in the covenant of our father. May the application of your belief in the word that our father gives to you. May that lead you to your promised land. May that lead you to where God wants to take you. May that move you under the unction and anointing of supernatural advancement. May your faith work miracles for you. May your faith turn your situation around for you. May your faith bring you to the point where God will open windows and doors for you. Number two, number two, allow God's preparation process. Even though I said number two was anticipate, let me do this one before that one. So allow God's preparation process. Give me the text again, verse 37. Verse 37. Verse 37. Verse 37. Verse 36. Give me 36. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be, will be like one of them. God had to process David in the wilderness with preparation to be able to, number one, defeat the lion, number two, defeat the bear before he can come to the place where he will face, face the Philistine or Goliath face to face. Preparation. Why did God have to take him through the wilderness before he faced the Philistine? Number one, the lion, the bear, and the Philistine, who is a man, belongs to a group of people called mammals. They have similar traits and characteristics. So God had to use the lion, the bear, and teach David how he would deal with a species called mammal. Oh, so much Jesus. L let, me, let me do it first, then you come. Number two, the lion, the bear, are both carnivorous animals. They feed on prey. They are both predators. And, and Goliath also demonstrated predatory abilities. Why? Because he told David that I will kill you and give your flesh to the best of the earth and the beast of the field. Both the lion, the bear, and the Philistine are all predators in nature. Bro, for pani. I know it's here. I was here for, and then the other side. Now the old man is here. I say, "Nya kupa wachisha yano nemri pamo. Wado ufa baby ana wu na diwa musa." 
na David wo ho nyina no sumai suo ebo ani suo ni sadio mo niamate ano na te se goriat e ti no de ni fa sa akwa ni nyana ko se ni kunim die baba research has shown that the average height of a bear is about 9 feet tall so Goliath, whose description was given in the preceding verses, was described as a giant man who was nine feet tall. So the bear looked like Goliath in the realm of the spirit. So God has to use the bear to prepare the guy in the wilderness. So when he faces the, the giant, he will know, I have seen this height before. I have seen this stature before. I have seen this magnitude before. Who are you, all Philistine? Today I will do you like you, the bear. Yes. I will bring you down, yes. and Goliath will fall. I declare in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May that Goliath fall in the name. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. May the spirit that stands before you like a giant. May that fall in the name of Jesus. Yes. Shall fall by fire. Oh. I walk with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. Hey. Walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in the Hey, you are getting back in. You have seen this before. I know they God has prepared you. What you are going to face, He has already nurtured you. You have seen it before. I walk you with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. Walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in. Hey. I know they want to know. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. What we call the Father. What we call the Son. Hold on, Kofi. Hold on, Kofi. Hold on, Kofi. Hold on, hold on. The lion, the bear, they use their claws and their jaws as weapons to attack. The lion and the bear. The jaws and the claws. These jaws and claws are so powerful that when they pass on you, you cannot survive. And if you look at the description of Goliath, the guy's armory was heavy. The guy's armory was serious. To the point that Saul decided to give David an armory to go and fight Goliath. And David said, oh, so, so I, I am not used to this one. I, the, what I am used to is that it's a God of progression. The God who delivered me from the claws of the lion. The God who delivered me from the paws of the bear. That same God is about to deliver me. I declare in the name of Jesus, whatever you are facing, may you overcome them. Whatever you are facing, may God give you the power. You are overcoming them. You are riding over them. You are coming against them. God is delivering you. He is preparing you. You shall not fail. You are moving forward. You shall not fail. You are defeating Goliath. You are defeating the lion. You are defeating the bear. You shall be victorious. I know they walk alone. I walk with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. Walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back. Quick interpretation. Quick interpretation. I was so full. Sa ucho o sisiya na usuoro na tisa goriat eti nyamizi se ya wao yano o di kaidi David koye ama ndi o sisiya koko ye ena cha ano cha goriat ya sa si se ya na nyaku po ye ma o se edu babi o dufa babi ya o di o sisiya o edi amasa eni mnyama o chishano allow God to take you through the process of becoming a big man. Manyamu koye na ufa ufa e koye o ba dadi ni paka si ano mane koye na ufa ufa so. Ladies and gentlemen. When Pastor Reverend Papa was sharing my profile, anyway, last week Sunday you had a microphone and he gave me a surprise, tenth anniversary. Today the microphone is with me. Now, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on my wedding day, the only money in my account was hundred Ghana cities. When I told him I was going to get married, he bought brand new pairs of shoes from London and gave to me as a gift. Wow. He's glory, a brother. Glory, He's a covenant glory. brother. I love you, sir. I love you. So if you have a fair a true son of a coroner's cancer, then you know, now by hand, it be the only bottom. I know the coward here. Then I'm not crying, sir. Papa, I am Reverend. A man in Papa, fair, 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 fair. Some people are keeping this one. This one is not part of the sermon. They understand this one. Let's go. You see, before before I started doing my work here as a full time Reverend or Minister of Royal House Chapel, I used to be a loans officer in in a bank. Ladies and gentlemen, as a loans officer, when people take their money and they don't pay their loan, I had to wake up at 4 a.m. 
Go and knock people's door at 4.30 and tell them, pay your money. Pay your money. Pastor of Royal House Chapel, a loans officer chaser. So I learned how to manage, manage difficult customers in the bank. Then I was promoted to be a relationship manager. Relationship manager was more dignified. That one, they wear you suit, you don't work in the sun, you sit in air-conditioned car, you meet the customer, you say, oh, how are you, sir? How may, I, how may we help you? Oh, um, we, want to, we want to give you this and this on your account. When the customer is celebrating birthday, you go to the birthday of the customer and all of that relationship manager. From loans manager, loans officer, to relationship manager. My free baby, I what I didn't know that God through these formative years was then preparing me to become the assembly's coordinator of Royal House Chapel where all the pastors in our assembly will have to report through my office before it gets to the Apostle General. 250 plus pastors, 250 plus branches and assemblies. I did not get here by chance. I did not get here by lobby. I had to go through the process and I had to serve. When you take a small business, God prepares you for a bigger assignment. Can I prophesy to you? I declare in the name of Jesus, may God take you to the higher height. May God take you to higher pinnacles. May God push you up to the ladder. Shout, I receive it. You made the little things I do be like saying I said, big day so. Hey, your, your grace, grace makes a difference. Just the embarrass. I like it. I like it. I like it all. I like the way. I like the way you delete me. Hey. Say your little things will become big. Go to somebody and prophesy to them. Tell them the smaller things will become big. Tell the person the little things are becoming bigger for you. The smaller things are becoming bigger for you. Promotions everywhere. Contract everywhere. Plenty money everywhere. Cause you believe me every day. I like it. I like it. We are moving higher. We are moving higher. We are moving higher. We are moving higher. We are going higher than 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 Lada. Chine Dubo. Chine Dubo. Chine Dubo. Chine Dubo. Hold on. Please. Our time is running. Please. Hey. And she said, hey, you know, I don't know. From loan officer to relationship officer, and never be a yami or punch a mere drew a sorry room. A sorry club at ten yana, men are just so, men are many penny four, a so four, and the kitten will answer that to some penny and now coupon and fitting or limit to or yes, say, yeah, and the me for baby, and then and then, but you are a whole common on And ladies and gentlemen, I say this in all humility, all humility. I was a woman, young Brassian, I guess, answer me. And at this point of my sermon, I want to appreciate my father, the Apostle General, and my mother, Mama Rita, in absentia. They saw a little boy. Many, many, I joined Royal House Chapel 25 years ago, 1999. And today, I salute Mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Daddy, I want to say Mommy and Daddy, Mommy and Daddy, Mommy and Daddy, Mommy and Daddy, 1995, Number three, anticipate miracles. 
You have to expect a miracle when you are operating under the anointing of supernatural advancement. A miracle must come your way. The boy brought down the giant, and when the people saw it in Israel, they said, Wait, 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 wait. Asham Waja Wanshida. Seventeen. Goliath. Where, and, and you see, Goliath himself looked at David, and the Bible said that, and Goliath disdained the boy. So the boy had no chance at all. But I remember. I didn't say this one. And don't mind him. Sing for me, I beg you. So, when you look at Goliath and David, the way David, as a shepherd's boy, to be able to move to become a giant slayer, it is a miracle. Apostle General said, Miracles are doings of God or activities of God that are not explainable to your logical and natural understanding. You cannot explain it, you cannot understand it, but it is a miracle. Is somebody expecting a miracle today? Yes. Is somebody ready for a miracle this week? Is somebody expecting a miracle this month? I, I said in year 2024, Jesus. what people struggle to get, may it come to you as a miracle. I receive what this. people are paying big money to get, may God work a miracle for free. I may you have a free ticket. May you have a free accommodation. I may a miracle come your way. I, so, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. And what the end I came to the Apostle General and I told the Apostle General that Daddy, I want to um, further my education and go and study uh, LLB at the University of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, when I put in the application for LLB, that is University of Ghana uh, School of Law. About 700 p applicants also applied. 700. Me, when I saw the list, I was even shocked. Charlie, I, I started tuning in to join news profile, listening to current affairs, because I don't know the question. When I checked the past question, they don't have a particular format. I started listening to city news. I started listening to this, that, hey, this exams, there are 700 people, and they want only 120. Hey! Abraham did Majesty so said the same because Yambra. Now me did and some two course at University of Ghana. The fire is Yambra. We call enough and never pray and I go see us. I'm like a friend of a Tomaha. Now me tell red your seven ya and you bought me at your no no. I have your channel. But can we be now for my Tomaha? I came to daddy with a, a, a seat and I said, Daddy, I'm going to write these exams. Please, I need you to pray for me. And I kid you not, these are the words of the Apostle Jenna. He said, Son, go, God be with you. Oh, God, so much as soon as he said that I knew that I was expecting a miracle I knew that I was anticipating a miracle and by the grace of God when they released the result out of 700 people Daniel Masilino, Marcelo Masilino, my name was there. I declare in the name of Jesus, may God work a miracle for you. May a miracle come your way. Shout my father and my God, this year, give me a notable miracle in the name of Jesus. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You can't you remember time for your head. He never been a song. Like a little baby. You, you watch over me. You know they carry me in a play. He never been a song. A miracle is coming. Like a little baby.
miracle is coming. You will encounter a miracle. You will experience a miracle. You know God will give you a miracle. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let the altar give you a miracle. The altar of my father. The altar of my father. A miracle is coming. Your appointment is coming. Your promotion is coming. Your appointment is coming. Your promotion is coming. In the name of Jesus. Like a little baby. I traveled from here to the Oti region. Um, the journey from here to Dambai should be about 10 hours. 10 hours. And then when you, when you get to Dambai, even if you are driving a land cruiser, your land cruiser must be put on a pantu and cross the Oti River and move to the other side of town. It took quite a year to get to Edmonton to Adam, but the whole got through a panto. It is a long cruise of Grand Okita Utua and see a disciple to so answer and walk over him. When you finish crossing the river, you must travel another many kilometers, many miles, many hours to a village called Nyamanko or Chinamanko. I can't even pronounce the name. And there was a little boy there who was, has, he had written SHS, he had passed, make a Good grades, like a city boy, and the guy didn't have any help to further his education to university. Poor boy, poor community. In fact, electricity in the community is a problem. Portable drinking water is a problem. The, see, that's three hours from the after the river to the village. If you see the road network, hmm. There was no way this young boy can gain admission and pay for his fees and come to University of Ghana and pay hostel fees. Hostel fees over 10,000 Ghana cities. I was your four. Our pastor in the Oti region in Dambai shows up in the community of this young man, gave the word of God to him. The guy believed, and when the guy believed, he started anticipating miracles from the altar of our father. So for Kwa Kenya Mia Samachano, or Chidi Yano, Afe, or Baye, now for start Tanya Chidia said, A year and could it be a pa? I drive a pa, as I'm so. He was introduced to the scholarship of Royal Hashapo, ladies and gentlemen, Pam, scholarship. The guy has moved all the way. Now he's in the University of Ghana. He's aspiring for a political position on campus. He comes to Rosa University of Ghana. He served under Reverend Papa Kantianka. He's engaging the altar. Miracle as well for him from wherever he was coming from. So we get to anticipate we get, a miracle. We get to Go. God be with you. Finally, 
final point, then I'll hand over. Acknowledge God's presence or acknowledge the role of God's presence. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge his presence. Acknowledge the anointing. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 4. He said, Do not fear. Isaiah 41, verse 10, NIV. Isaiah 41, verse 10, NIV. He said, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The presence of God. It's an assurance under supernatural advancement. Oh, both of us, oh, both of us, oh. So, would you have to send your cup of honor? So, sir, Mansro, now we know no home. Acknowledge the presence of God in your achievement. Chetum send your cup on and what you may be able to know. Acknowledge the presence of God in your testimony. What does it mean? Chetum send your cup on and the Offer your thanksgiving sacrifice to God as an acknowledgement. Offer yourself to God as an acknowledgement of His presence. And when you do that, God will uphold you with His right hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the message I brought to you this morning is that this month, go, God will be with you. This week, Go, God will be with you. This year, go, God will be with you. May God bless you and open your heavens in the mighty name of Jesus. It's you that I see. 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 Rise up to your feet. Let's worship the Lord. I'm the center of it all. It's you, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Oh. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Miracles happen in your name. May you go. God will be with you. Supernatural advancement. You shall advance supernaturally. It's you, you shall advance with the help from above. You it's shall you advance with grace from above. See. There is power. There is power. Your name. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the honor of the name. His name is powerful. His name is Adonai. His name is Elohim. His name is Elohim. His name is Shama. His name is powerful. It's you, it's you, it's you, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. It's you, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. Sir. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the great. You are bigger, you are bigger. bigger. preparing this message I became emotional at a point ladies and gentlemen and I had a reflection on what God has done for me you see what I'm doing here this morning is not me because I am naturally a very shy person I want to hold back but when I reflected on what God was doing for me when I was preparing I was humble in the spirit and God dropped this song in my heart in my worship room and I was worshiping God all along Woo ye mami, su su reja, eja pa, tu tu vinira. Woo ye mami, te vinira. Woo ye mami, su su reja, eja pa.
never want. Let the presence of the Lord go ahead of you. This week, go ahead of me. In this month of April, my spirit is expectant for a miracle. May my heavens be open. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift your voice. But say, Lord, go ahead of me into that examination, into that exam room, that surgery room, that interview room. Go ahead. Lift your voice. Engage the altar. Pray. is with you in that interview in that application go in that business go to that school go on that journey go with faith go with expectation the Lord is with you the Lord is with you the Lord is with you the altar of your father will speak for you go ahead pray
constituency and tell them that thing that you have been holding back now you have got clearance go 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 the Lord is with you look for a middle-aged man who is not married and go and tell them this is your word to go this is your word this is your word to go For a potential business owner who hasn't yet started his business and go and tell her this is your clearance go the Lord is with you go the Lord is with you because you are the way truth and the life please be seated God bless you Reverend Daniel Maslino for allowing God to use you to be a blessing to the church this morning. Yes, Me, I go follow you. Pastor Kofi doesn't want us to close. Jesus, say my life is for your glory. My life, my life is for your glory. If your tithe is ready, this is the right atmosphere to sow into. Your pledges are ready. Your first fruit is ready. Any Thanksgiving offering that you have, your wedding anniversary Thanksgiving offering, birthday Thanksgiving offering, this is the right atmosphere. You want to wave your hand and an usher will serve you with an envelope. If you are giving your first fruit, your first fruit is your first income of the year, your first income of a new job, the, the difference of the first income of a promotion. The Bible says, give it to God. This is a, a, a festival that we celebrate in Royal House, taking a cue from the biblical Israelites. In Royal House, we believe in giving to God at least a tenth, at least a tenth of our income. If you are here and you believe in the doctrine of tithing, Please join me at the altar. Let's show our sacrifices. Tithe, pledge, special offering, first fruit. Online church, you are part of this one. As usual, the information is on your screen. Please be a part of this and your life will never be the same. The builders building vain. I'll follow you, they go Anywhere you lead me, I will go 
Jesus. While you are seated, you want to grab your peace offering. Your peace offering. So those of you who are coming to the front, your sacrifice in your right hand, your peace offering in your left. Those of you seated, go into your presence, go into your bags. Your peace offering, and we are doing it together in unison. As you are at the altar, speak over that sacrifice like while we wait for the others. What is your expectation for this sacrifice? What's your expectation for this month? Your grace makes a difference. Yes, it embarrass me. I like it more. I like the way you lead me. Reverend Joe Achate will be praying over. Lift up your offerings and sacrifices wherever you are. Those of you seated, I don't see your peace offering. Lift it up high above your head. High above your head. Oh, sorry, Reverend Joe Kusuko. I apologize. Please lift up your sacrifices, your covenant offerings, and your covenant seeds. Father, in the name of Jesus. Behold your people one more time. They have gathered in your presence. They acknowledge your grace and your power at work in their lives. They anticipate miracles and breakthroughs and open heavens. They anticipate good things coming from your throne room into their lives. Yes, and they acknowledge the steps and the processes you are taking them through to prepare them for the greater and the bigger things that is to come. We thank you, Father, that one more time today in our own eyes, we see a manifestation of your word in our lives. And we thank you that from this day onwards, our lives are never the same. As we drop these sacrifices upon the altar, let divine power be activated. Let every power of the enemy be held in abeyance. Let every work of the enemy be exposed and be brought to shame. In the name of Jesus, uphold us, O God, by your mighty right hand. Even as we go from here, O God, Open the heavens over our lives. Make our work and our lives fruitful. May they call us blessed. And may your name be forever exalted. In our lives, in our families, in our works, in our businesses. In every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Sow your sacrifices, sow your seeds. The ushers are coming around for their peace offering. As you give. May the presence of the Lord go ahead of you. May He cause your path to be made straight. May you excel in the month of April. In the name of Jesus. You made the little things that you feel as an apicino. Your praise makes a difference. Yes, they marass. Shall we please be attentive for the following announcement? We would like to acknowledge some visitors in the house today. Shall we acknowledge the presence of Pastor Tioko and his wife from France who are worshiping with us today at the oil dome? Where they said, Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming to the oil dome, Pastor Tioko from France. We have Reverend Kunedu from the Methodist Church of Ghana. Reverend Kunedu. God bless you, sir. Thank you for visiting us. We have Reverend Moses Dussie, or Dusi. Reverend Moses Dussie from Living Water Ministry, Ivory Coast. God bless you, Reverend Moses. Thank you for visiting us. We have Pastor Edward from the USA. Pastor Edward, God bless you. We apologize for your sitting position. Uh, next time we'll do better. God bless you. God bless you. We are visiting us from Royal House Chapel, East London Mission, Madam Emilia Tego. Madam Emilia Tego from Royal House, East London Mission. 
I don't identify her, but we appreciate you. Oh, at the back, God bless you, God bless you. Thanks for visiting us. And then we have my in-laws, Minister Alfred and Lady Dickin Justina Hansen from Royal House Chapel, UK. Please clap for my wife's parents. Thank you for coming. We are still celebrating landmark celebrations every week. Today, Georgina Achupi Yaka is 60 years old. We would like her to come to the front. Oh, there she is. Come on, please acknowledge her. Please. Is that the title, Mrs. Lady Dickin? No title. So, Madam Georgina Achupi Yaka. Then, Patience Esinam Baku Yaya is also 50 years old. Oh, wow. You are looking beautiful in your gold. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Pastor Kofai, hold on. There's one more. Dickin Richard Owari is also 50 years old. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, those who are Happy younger than 50 and 60. Are we celebrating this anointing? Happy birthday to you. May God bless you now. May God bless you. We would like to invite Reverend Gabby to release a blessing, birthday blessing. 60 years, 60 years, 50 years. Wow. What a blessing. What a blessing. Church, please stretch forth your hands over these celebrants. Shall we pray? Stretch from your hands towards them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for the lives of those who are celebrating their birthday today. We pray in the name of Jesus for adding another year to their age. We pray, O oh God, that upon the altar that they are standing, the altar of our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. Above all, we pray, O oh God, if there is anything they are expecting you at the age of 50, at the age of 60, we pray, O oh God, the golden blessing shall be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, we commit the next level of their life into your hands. We pray, O oh God, that a power that will energize them to the next level of their life. And the hand of Almighty God shall come upon them that whosoever has gone ahead of them like Ahab, you shall grant them the speed to be able to overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. And above all, when you have blessed them, May you sustain their blessing. May you maintain their blessing. May you increase their ability to be able to achieve. Above all, let the altar of our Father, the Apostle General, bless them, increase them, multiply them, and cause them to do exploits in their days. In Jesus' mighty name, I call it done. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We celebrate with you. We wish you happy birthday. We pray that this week you will carry more anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to celebrate the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Okai, who got married yesterday. Oh, church, let's celebrate the newlyweds.
God bless you. We celebrate with you. When the Apostle General returns from his trip, he will hand over your certificate with their Father's blessing. But for today, we seal every prayer that was said yesterday. And we declare that the blood will unionize the two of you. You will never falter. You will never fall by the wayside. You will travel many years. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. And as one is going, two more are coming. On the 20th of April, this Saturday, is happening between Calquist, Riches of Glory Adenta, and Pastor Fedrias Nyamalo of Royal House Chapel International. 1 p.m. at Ahimfie this Saturday. This Saturday, we are dividing and conquering because while some people will be at Ahimfie, others will be at Peniel House Ministries because Reverend Anthony Labi is getting married. It's happening between him and Priscilla Afuakwa of Peniel House Ministries. This is Reverend Tony here. Oh, he's at Rosa Kolebu Ministry. My God. His, his bed has been cold for the past seven years or so. And now God has smiled over him. We celebrate with them. May the Lord open the heavens for you. And may he shower favor and blessing this Saturday. May you be joyful. May this day be a day of remembrance for you. Any vendors that will come with evil eyes and evil hands for your weddings, may their path be rerouted. May they miss the appointment in the name of Jesus. May you be celebrated in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you on Saturday, 1 p.m. Oh, come on, church, church, church. Let, let, me, let me use one minute to just let you know this. One of the downsides of being in a big church like this is that you must sacrifice some time to celebrate people. Because every week there's a wedding. Every week there's a landmark celebration. Every week there is an outdooring. So if you don't like celebration, join a, 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 a where two or three are garden church. Hello? But as long as you are in a big church, you must be okay to know that there will be always celebrations. Which means that every week you have to celebrate somebody. And because you are also celebrating, somebody will celebrate you. I hope this message has gone down well. From now to 31st December, every Sunday we will celebrate somebody. So don't get tired. You too, the day you are celebrating your 30 years anniversary, we will celebrate you. One more time, shall we celebrate the couple about to get married? Thank you. When your children are getting married, we shall celebrate them the same way. Amen. God bless you for this one. This week, all activities are continuing. All group meetings, all services, midweek services are continuing as scheduled. Foundation school, as usual, right after service, you are at post. If you can't make it today, there is Monday. If you can't make Monday, there is Wednesday. If you want to do all three and finish quickly, it is also allowed. You can finish foundation school in three to four weeks if you like. You can also use one year depending on your schedule. Amen. On the 23rd of April, WMG is back with Kickstarter series on Powerline TV. We are equipping young people for the job market to for to to gain scholarships uh, uh um to look out for international jobs please it's at 7 p.m tuesday 23rd april this one the theme is stand out we are looking at how to order your cv your resume for you to be competitive when you go for interview with 700 people how to stand out make sure you are glued to your tv 
7 p.m. on the 23rd of April. Then on the 27th, Saturday, is WMG Arise service. I don't like that response at all. On the 1st of May, Pillars for Christ is having its annual retreat. Every year they have one Saturday prayer retreat. And this, Saturday, this year is on the 1st of May. It's a holiday, Wednesday, 1st of May, 9 a.m. at the Bukom Arena. Please, if you are if not even a member of Pillars for Christ, but you want to pray, Saturday, you don't have anything to do. Sorry, Wednesday, holiday, you don't have anything doing. Join the Bukom Boxing Arena. Pillars of Christ will be there with a host of seasoned men of God, and we will be lifting up prayer. It's going to be powerful. Every year is an awesome time. Please join the Pillars for Christ. Home calls. Madame Dora Norte has been called home. She was 84 years, and the home call is being celebrated on Friday, 19th April, at Ahifie, 8 a.m. She's the mother of Lady Dickin Constance Tete. If they are here, all family members should please come to the front. And then on the 20th of April, we are sending home Patrick Nana Echampo. 8 a.m. at St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in Kumasi. All right, in Kumasi. He is the the husband of Mrs. Ivy, a champion of Royal Achievers. If they are here or the members are represented, please come forward. We pray for grace to go ahead of them as they travel to Kumasi and travel to the burial site. Lord, preserve them. May they go and come back in one piece. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We want to celebrate the memorial and thanksgiving service of Madame Ruth Ribeiro Duncan, the late wife of Mr. Boateng, teacher of the Apostle General. Family of Madame Ruth Duncan, if you can kindly come to the altar for the thanksgiving and memorial service. All family, all family, if you are here for the thanksgiving, please come forward. Reverend Agri will be leading us through Thanksgiving service. The Bible says, we should rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Romans 12, 15. Let us all be on our feet as we stand with these family members to give thanks to God for giving them the grace, the strength, the resources to give a befitting burial to their departed. This morning, through it all, they are here to thank God for the grace and the strength and all that they have enjoyed through this morning period to give befitting barrier to the departed. M Madame Ruth Raberio Duncan was born on the 5th of March, 1944. Called into glory 16th of February, 2024. Laid to rest 13th April, 2024, just yesterday, at Osu Cemetery. She was 80 years. The widower who happens to be a very known father in this house, Mr. Boateng, 
is here with the whole family, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, loved ones, to thank God that after all, the departure of our loved one is not a hopeless situation. And that they believe that Mrs. Duncan Boati is resting peacefully in heaven, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no sickness, no debt, no poverty. We will give God all the glory. When peace like shall separate us from the love of God. The departure of our loved one will not separate us from the love of God. We will say it is well. Duncan family it is well. Wherever you are, join us. We want to observe a minute of silence. And in your heart, thank God for the life that Madame Duncan lived on this planet Earth. And thank God for the fact that she is resting peacefully in the arms of the Almighty. And thank God for the family. Pray for the family that the good Lord will continue to sustain them. Amen. I will mention her name three times and the church will respond, glory be to God the Father, the second to God the Son, and then to God the Holy Spirit, the third one. May the soul of Mrs. Ruth Rabiro Duncan Boatin rest in perfect peace. May the soul of Ruth, Madame Ruth Rabero Duncan Boati rest in perfect peace. May the soul of our dear mother, Ruth Rabero Duncan Boati rest in perfect peace. Gracious and loving God, we want to thank you and worship you and praise your holy name Indeed, you are the giver and preserver of life. By your word, we know we come from you. And when we die, we return to you. By this revelation, we know our dear mother, sister, auntie, friend is resting peacefully in your arms. So therefore, we ask, oh God, as a church, may your grace be available and be abandoned to the surviving family. 
keep them and strengthen them in these days of mourning my god and my king may your presence comfort them let them continue to know and be reminded by the holy spirit that the departure is not a hopeless one and that there are many lessons left for them open their eyes and their spirit to know their lessons and run with your name and in your name and serve you and serve you better like how madam duncan served you we pray jehovah for wisdom for the children and the grandchildren we ask for strength if there is any sick member in the family on this special celebration period heal them oh god strengthen them let it be that they can continually praise your name each passing day let them be reminded that jehovah you are in the center of affairs in this family that duncan family is sealed in your name and in your power we stand in your name and we lift the entire family before you let your grace continue with them show them oh god in your love joy and peace and above all let your name alone reign supreme in this family in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen the whole church amen Hallelujah. Mr. Boati, popularly known as old teacher, because uh, uh, he taught our father, the Apostle General. And uh, we know our papa doesn't joke with him at all. Um, I remember a few years ago, he blessed him with even a vehicle that will carry him in and out of uh, church, will bring him to church and take him home. Uh, decided to give him a driver and uh, has been fueling the vehicle we, 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 we hope the vehicle is still functioning well it's functioning well God bless you so when you see him around you should know that he's the original grandfather amen and, and grand teacher hallelujah Yesterday, we took um, an offering at the funeral ground. Um, what happened was the ushers wanted to quickly organize their contribution and art so that they presented. Unfortunately, time did not allow, and uh, the offering has got into my hand, and we want to present it to you, uh, Teacher Boating. Teacher Boating, after checking and adding. Uh, the few members who came around. This is the envelope. Please, you, you receive it and give it to him for us. And then, teacher Boati used to be, he's still, who we'll say he's still in the ushering department. He's an usher. He served in the ushering department when we were at Ahimfie. In fact, he started at Egypt, continued and Strength is not permitting him now to be attending all the ushering meetings, but the ushers have declared him the father of the ministry. He is still blessing them. Anytime he comes around, you see him trying to help and encourage his sons and daughters and grandchildren who are ushering there. God bless you. When we see you, we know that we too, we can get to 90 and beyond. The same God that has blessed you with this age and this strength, we know we, your sons and daughters, we will get there. God bless you for encouraging us, inspiring us that there is this true God who watches from on high. The ushers are also sowing this into our grandpa's life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He's still around. If, in case you didn't know, now you are knowing, you are hearing. If you want to be a blessing to Grandpa, God bless you. God richly bless you, family members, uh, sons, daughters, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, uh, the unborn children. We, we welcome all of you. God bless you. We love you. 
you really did well. We were there. I was there myself, and I saw how you gave the fitting barrier to your grandmother. God richly bless you. God bless you. You may go back to your seat. If you are here for the first time, we want to extend a special hand to you. We want to welcome you specially. Come to the front here when we share the grace. First timers. If you came with somebody, please encourage the person. You can walk the person to the aisle here at the front here. And let's celebrate a welcome. And if you're also celebrating your birthday today and throughout the week, uh, you can also come to my left side here. First time as right and birthday celebrants, my left. God richly bless all of us. Shall we be on our feet? Shall we be on our feet? No. The kind of message we have all heard this morning. I was not expecting you to keep this kind of face. You should be smiling by now. Turn to your neighbor and let your neighbor see you smiling. If you can even laugh, laugh. And ask your neighbor, why are you smiling and laughing? What has happened to you? Is it because of the sermon? And what you are living here with? Oh, then laugh more, laugh more, laugh more. Because I sense blessings from the sermon. And I know my life is never going to be the same again. This week, tell your neighbor, this week, this week, you, 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 I prophesy to you, you will have an encounter with the God of this altar. You will have an encounter in your going out and in your coming in. Because... The God of this altar will go with you and return with you. Do you believe it? Shout, yes, I believe it. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless all of us. God bless you. All the weekly activities will be going on. So if you belong to any of the groups, make sure you attend your group meetings and pray with them. And let's keep the vision moving forward. First timers and birthday celebrants. Hey!